Hey guys, and welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you just basic free drawing. So, in this video, I was thinking I'm just going to draw a bowl of cereal. Now, this is going to be like a three quarter view. So, let's start out with the Bezier tool. Or with the Bezier tool, really. So, draw the basic shape of the bowl, which really we'll just do a line like that two different lines oops if we do that let's just draw line here straight so you can hold control and it'll keep it going straight so we're drawing a line forward and a line back go into the edit node tool kinda stretch it out like this actually for the top piece I'm actually going to just do an oval and then it's white let's change it to let's go down here and find a good color for it um kind of brownish well actually it will be white so I'll kind of do like a bluish white Wait, milk isn't blue at all. It's like kind of white. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking that. Let's make it. Make it just for visibility. I'll make it gray. It's kind of disgusting, but just for visibility. Add a little bit of a stroke. So click Shift and black. Then here at the busy eight. Some. Let's turn on this. There we go. Snap it there and go right there. And right click to just put that one line there. There we go. Edit node tool and drag this line straight down. Click on the nodes to edit them and get those tabs coming out then I'm just gonna stretch it out until these both sticking down straight like that pretty soon like a pretty consistent bowl there then let's Go to that node edit tool and add a little bit of a flat spot. So double click here to add a node and double click here to add a node. Select both of these and go up here and do straight. Now that add a little bit of straight to it. Center it. Right there looks good. There we go. This will also let's make that a little bit of a different gray. Of course, this one, go up here and change it to the top layer. Like that, and let's go back into the node edit tool. And this node here has to come down a little bit. Like that, there we go. Just that little bit. Okay, now we have the basic shape of the bowl. Now, in there, let's draw a little bit of a rough wavy line and then go into the edit node tool select these and click curve and that'll actually if you wanted you could just select them all there like that and now we have a nice nice curve line we can change that to kind of a white or white and whoops we don't want to fill on it quite yet no fill still go back to your busy tool there we go and let's stretch this down to match that other curve You'll see why in a second. So make it match as well as possible. Like 
There we go, that looks good. You don't really notice it, and then I'm going to turn this kind of a white. Like that. Now we got the milk. Now let's make it a bowl of cocoa puffs. So, to do that, I'm going to draw a little cocoa puff. They won't be that big, about that size. Zoom in on them. And let's change it to kind of that brown chocolate color. Hmm. Maybe kind of like that. That's the chocolate color. Get rid of the stroke. And go to the gradient tool down here. Radial gradient, it's already set on. And let's bring out this radial gradient. And on the outside, we are going to change it to a little bit lighter of a brown. That's the same brown, so a little lighter, maybe even a little lighter than that. There we go. Let's actually change that center a little darker. There we go. Now, that has that little bit of shading. You know, we need to do it a little more. So, make that real dark and then change this to that. Because that really is the chocolate color. Then the center point can be even blacker. You know, those endpoints can just be a little lighter. And then this endpoint has to be quite a lot darker. Not quite black. Yeah, black will look good, actually. So let's bring these back down into a circle. Bring that a little to the edge. Like that. Now let's add a filter. And kind of like a, uh, a bumpy surface. That's definitely not what we want. <laughs> um, let's see if we can find one that is like what we want. Maybe it's a texture. Felt? Whoa. No. Um, okay, wow, that really is deforming it. So let's just try it like this. And... Looks good. Let's turn off snapping. We won't need it kind of put it where you want it. Now keep it selected and go to the spray paint tool. Now just paste a bunch of these with the spray paint tool. There we go. And that's definitely too many. So let's undo that. Maybe the spray paint tool isn't the right tool to do that. Let's just do control D to copy it. We just want it to kind of barely cover everything and then we'll intersection the pieces but we don't want. The pieces that are a little... It's okay if you see the milk behind because you would in a normal bowl of cereal. Let's bring that down a couple layers. Yes, yeah, so let's just, you know, change the layers and stuff. And just do this real quick. Shouldn't take too long. And then you can go back through and kind of cover up more of the milk with things under this layer. But then I'm just kind of doing this rough pattern here. Okay, just like that. Your cocoa puffs floating in there. Now I'm going to take this milk up to the top layer. Select one of those, path, intersection. And see how it cut it off? So that's what we want. Just make sure to copy this a bunch of times, which is just control D, excuse me, and then path difference. Not difference. Then you'll go to path 
intersection or you can just do control shift 8 and that does the same thing and let's just do that to all of them real quick just all the outside ones I wish you could do it to more than one at a time but you can't I'll actually just go into the drop down since I'm not doing that many and you can see I ran out of them so let's just copy a couple more and keep going just do a couple more intersections intersection okay we're out of those so copy it just a couple more times zoom in a bit if you have to and we're on the last couple ones half intersection two through three more and then we'll be done with that control Z and let's copy that two more times control shift eight make sure you select both of them control shift eight and one last time control shift eight select this guy control shift eight there we go now you can see all the cocoa puffs are cut off now i probably didn't need to do the ones on the top let's bring this down a bunch of layers until the cocoa puffs appear again it up another layer. Now let's get rid of that guy. Oops. Now really we just needed it to cut off at the edge of the bowl. We didn't actually need to cut these off. Let's just actually get rid of those real quick and copy them and bring them up. In a normal bowl of cereal you would see that popping up little bit and then we'll also intersection that one all the ones that are sticking out of the bottom you'll want to intersection and then just fill all these in real quick a lot of cocoa puffs can't have too many cocoa puffs There we go. Now let's copy that a little more and do the same thing. And select this path intersection, intersection, intersection. Only a couple more and then. The last one. And just three more. Control Z. Copy it a couple more times. And we're about done. Let's zoom way in on this guy. And two more times, and then we'll be done. Intersection. Or, of course, you know, you could just do... Control Shift Eight also works. Whoop! That did not intersection. Whoops. And intersection it. Now let's take the milk. 
move it down a bunch of layers until the Cocoa Puffs are covering it. There we go. Rough bowl of cereal. Now we can draw a little spoon coming out of it. A very rough drawing with the Bezier tool. Now, let's actually delete all those nodes there. And let's draw a rectangle to split it. And make it a little bigger. Spin it. Draw it out a little bit. Just to cut off that top part. Difference it. Now right here I'm going to draw a circle. Let's add a stroke, no fill. Select both of them. Path union. Now it looks like that. Path, object to path. And edit node tool. Now you can edit your circle a little bit. Let's make it look a little more like a spoon. Put like a little picture there. Make it like a pretty fancy spoon. And there we go. Looks really good. And give it a fill, give it like a kind of gray ish. Pretty close to white since it's metal. Bring it down a lot of layers. Really bring it down all the way to the bottom and then bring it up. So there we go, like that. And then that's basically just a pretty simplified way of doing free drawing. And it's actually pretty simple. So I hope this video is useful. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.